peace, love, and abundance, y'all. I am Zita Empress, and I am back with another reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, or wherever you have Pisces in your chart. This reading, please be mindful, this reading is for whenever you receive it, okay? Um, there's no specific time frames on my reading. I don't like to put those types of limitations on them. Okay? Alrighty. So, um, before I begin, I just want to thank you guys so much for all your likes, shares, shares, and subscribes. I greatly appreciate them. Okay? So, let's get into the reading, Pisces. Okay. I feel like a lot of Pisces are feeling themselves confident a bit maybe a bit cocky nothing wrong with it you know confidence level is through the roof right now you know money may be good okay so what is some important messages for the sign of pisces sun moon rising venus and jupiter okay all right i have a card for you guys and this is the ace of wands Ace of Wands. Ah. And the Emperor. Mm. And the Ace of Wands. And the Emperor. I think the Ace of Wands is... It represents good news. Forward movement. New beginnings. It represents new beginnings. Also represents action. It's an action card. Um, it represents dynamic and driving energy force. Okay. It can also represent the male phallus, a phallic symbol. Okay, sexual, male sexual energy. Okay. Um, <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> Might have been a thotty out there. Thotty, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. <laughs> Stop. Um, it represents the beginning of action and taking initi an initiative, being creative and enterprise, the birth of new ideas and inspirations, and can also represent the seed of a new life. So congratulations if you have a child on the way. Congratulations. Or many of you may be finding out that you are pregnant. Okay, Pisces. Okay, are you pregnant from an emperor? Will you be telling somebody the news? Are you contemplating on telling some someone this this news, Pisces? Some of you guys, it may not be a child. Some of you guys may be starting um, new jobs, new careers, new paths, new journeys, new spiritual journeys. You know, just new, new, okay? New car, new business, new lust for life. Or maybe you guys may be feeling very ambitious, you know, with your ideas and goals. A lot of you may be executing some goals or focused on your goals at this time. Which is very common because we are in the beginning of a new year. I believe the new year it doesn't start to March, but to each his own. This card also holds um, high enthusiasm and, and excitement. I feel like a lot of you are capable of, of success. There could be a lot of, you know, changes, you know, happening in your life. To be the beginning of a new relationship or a new, a new passionate connection. 
with someone that is, you know, very masculine, very dominant. Um, a bit stubborn, too, as well. This could be an earth sign. You could be, you could be linking up for those, you know, for those inquiring about, you know, love and romance you could be um hooking up i'm getting hooking up with the earth sign or if you currently are or if you have been hooking up with earth sign you may be pregnant from an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn mm, so congratulations if you are you know some of y'all been getting busy in quarantine and i don't mean working i mean y'all been working y'all been working <laughs> miss that miss that okay Let me stop. now with the emperor he also represents financial stability ambition authority and achievement and the need to keep a calm head at this time to make decisions based. So he's down to earth. You know, he reminds you to stay grounded and not be so overly influenced by your emotions. This is also a powerful card and a wonderful omen for business and career matters. You know, a lot of you guys may be progressing in your life, leveling up. A lot of you guys are leveling up. You go. You go, girl. Or you go, man. <laughs> Whether it's divine masculine or feminine energy, it doesn't matter. Perhaps you could be in a powerful position to achieve your goals at this time. This could, the emperor also represents a powerful male influence. This is a man that goes hard for his family. This is a man that hustles for his last name and not his first. So if you are pregnant from someone, this could be a good match. I feel like this person may be about you. If you are in fear of this news, of sharing this news, or indecisive, or should you? I think you should. I think it. I think whatever news, he's gonna be thrilled. You know, if it's pregnancy news, he's gonna be thrilled. He's gonna take it better than than you than you expected. You know. Um. Let's see what else. That's just the first two cards. Okay. Let's see what else. What else some more important messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Important messages for a sign of Pisces. The hangman. Hmm. Waiting. Or procrastination. And then the King of Pentacles. Okay, this is the King of Pentacles. This is who you really need to. <laughs> this is my ideal man, the King of Pentacles. Okay? The King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, this is a this is a, a provider. A provide. Hey, some of y'all may be torn in between two people. Okay, this emperor and this king of pentacles. Unless you find out that this emperor is, you know, he's actually king of pentacles. You thought maybe he was an emperor, but he's actually a king of pentacles. Okay. 
you know, I'm getting like maybe someone, this could be you or someone else, have been keeping some things, um, some, you know, I feel as though it should be, you know, it may be important to some, some details or, or some information about themselves. Someone's been keeping it secret or haven't been letting you know all the details or I'm not going to say lying to you, but I'm just going to give you an example. You know, I feel like some people want to, or some men, you know, may want to see what you're really about. So they may withhold certain um, things from you, information about their, their occupation or what they do or how much they're worth or, you know, their net worth or how much money they have, stuff like that. Because they want to see if you're really down, if you're really for them. You know, if you're the real deal, because you may be meeting someone that if you haven't met them already, maybe meeting someone that is ready to settle down, that is, you know, financially stable or, you know, financially secure or someone that is not struggling in the financial department. It's, you know, he's a he's a protector. He's a provider. You know, he, he you know, he makes a great um, partner, spouse, husband. You know, or some of you could be blocking. This emperor could be blocking. You know, this this is for some. This isn't for everyone. But this emperor, this emperor could be blocking your blessings from this king of pentacles. This, you know, this should be who you really want. Should be who you really want. Okay, that king of pentacles. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. You should want the king. The king of pentacles. Okay. The king. <laughs> he is the ideal partner. <laughs> All right. It says the king is usually financially successful and an excellent businessman comfortable within himself and in his position in life okay he has a strong character and is dependable and steadfast if he becomes angry it is short-lived and he won't and he and he doesn't brood these men make excellent husbands fathers and as they are loyal and reliable and see their role as being a good provider family and tradition are important to them The King of Pentacles is not afraid of hard work and will see a task through to completion. This is someone that is dependable, reliable, someone you can count on, someone that has your back, someone that's not going to leave you in the cold, someone that is patient, someone that is down to earth, who has a strong head on his shoulders, who is fit to lead you. is fit to lead you can trust his leadership he's also very persistent and patient he will sit out to the end till he gets what he wants he's very genuine gen um generous but never stupid with his money okay could be somewhat a bit stubborn blunt or overly materialistic that's the cause nobody's perfect but besides that if you get one that is balanced you're good to go or this could be you this could be what you are transitioning to but with the hangman in the middle it's like hold up Wait a minute. Not quite at this time. 
Okay, not quite. Okay. And let's see why. Why that is. The hangman. The hanging man. Okay. I feel like some of you guys may need to reroute. It's like, it's not a no. It's not a no. Or you may be experiencing somewhat stagnant energy. Or you may feel as though it's hard. I feel like for many, this is a time of sacrifice. You know, letting go what no longer serves you. I feel like it's some things that could be in your way. And once you remove those things, then you'll be able to achieve this, this King of Pentacles energy. But you have to release yourself from the chains because he's voluntarily in this position. Because his hands are free. I mean, you guys may need to detox, you know, um, some form of sacrificing fast, you know. Um, spiritually, though, focus on your, your spirituality. Your spiritual growth is important. Okay, I'm getting this. Spiritual growth is important. In order for everything else to grow, your spiritual, your spirituality has to grow as well. Okay. Now, this is a nine of pentacles. I feel like you guys are going to be successful. You, you will be prosperous. You will be prosperous. You will achieve your goals. Just make sure you don't put yourself... In a compromising position. That you don't want to be in. Okay. Now. Let's check out the overall energy that is around Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And Jupiter, what is the overall energy for the sign of Pisces? The overall energy. Sorry, these cards are big, y'all. <laughs> cards are big. Bigger than my hands. Okay. Bigger than my hands. Try to shuffle it the best way that I can. I don't know why I'm getting the circle of life. <laughs> getting them throwing up the baby and shit. Okay. All right. Corvette, Corvette. Up and move, yeah, baby. Mm, see, I wasn't even trying to pull some, but. It is what it is. All right. So, victory. I told you guys that you will be victorious. You will be victorious. Um, then you got the seventh chakra or angel euro. Let's see what she's about. Why are y'all taking y'all victory lap? Victory lap. Okay. Spirit connections, intuition, and inspiration is also associated with the third eye. The beautiful angel Uriel, also called the fire of God, wears a brilliant crystal. Let's 
know, there's kind of crystal amethyst. Um, but okay, I'm, I gotta keep it real with y'all. These cards did come out in reverse. So, I'm going to read the reverse for her. Because it says the card, this card reverse represents um, a block to your own intuition. See, I say is something's blocking your blessings. A block to your own intuition and to the potential help and power from spirit, from the spirit world. Perhaps you fear opening up to the side of your life. Or perhaps it's just something that seems foreign or unrealistic. Either way, it's time to awaken to the beauty and power of this realm see i told you, you you need to work on your your spiritual growth in order to reap the rewards see your crown your crown chakra spinning in a beautiful violent or white light oh this is associated with your crown chakra see i thought it was perfect i was associated with that but it's associated with the crown spinning in a beautiful violent or white light call upon your passion and power to help Bring this connection into being. Once you're open to the incredible peace and power that spirit can bring, your life will never be the same. So in order for you to level up, you're going to have to tap into spirit. Beloved, you're going to have to tap into spirit. I feel like, you know, the spirit of your ancestors, you know, your higher self, you have beautiful blessings that are here for you but you can't be afraid to tap into that spirit world you know you, you can't be afraid to ask and receive you gotta put in your order you gotta water your garden if you want them to grow if you want if you want your your garden to grow you have to water it if you i feel like you should see it as that also, some of you guys may need rest and rejuvenation. Some of you guys may be going too hard and you're not getting any rest. Get you some rest. Get you some sleep, darling. Make sure you're using your time wisely, too. Okay. All right, so... You know, we already tapped into the, the crown chakra. I just want to see what message is from my chakra deck. What message is from my chakra deck? You know, what are some important messages? You know, for Pisces. Otherwise, it is in Jupiter. Creation. Grow. See, I told y'all. Like, y'all got to work on y'all spiritual growth. Like, it's, it's time. And she's a shaman. Okay? Some of you guys may need to get you some sage. Some of you guys may have some Native American ancestors that's waiting to serve you. Look, she also has something purple and purple smoke coming up, okay? And this also isn't, what a coincidence, that other card, our angel Ura, Urel, represented the crown. And this also represents the crown with creation, okay? I feel like source has been, the divine has been reaching out to you and, and trying to, you know, direct and guide you and, you know, um, give you some clues. But you may have been, you may have been ignoring these signs or, or these omens because you're not ready. You feel as though you're not ready yet, but you are ready, darling. Okay, so with creation, letting go of old ideas and allowing new growth. Our primary now, this mission you have been on may be complete. A new dawn is coming and it's time to open yourself to divine inspiration. The message here is let go. You no longer need to be the warrior. Let go. Better let go and let 
let go and let the divine, honey. So you can, once you let go, then you'll be able to grow. Hey, I'm just a messenger, okay? I'm just a messenger. Video is a bit lengthy, but who cares? This message is for y'all. Okay, Pisces? Let's see what the angels have to say. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Okay, cars are jumping everywhere. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Okay, he's jumped out. Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. Okay, it's time to take a time out. Look, at the bottom it says, now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve he heaven's help. Pisces, you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You have to see yourself and believe it. See yourself as deserving. Because you deserve it. Okay, regarding love and romance, the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What are some important messages for Pisces? Okay. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Pisces. Love and romance. What's, what's going on with my Pisces, okay? What's going on with my Pisces? What's going on with my Pisces? What's going on with my Pisces? What's going on? Okay, sorry, I'm taking forever. I just like to get my card shuffled, you know what I'm saying? Okay, boom, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual your usual type and expectations. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have trust. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so keep an open mind and stay optimistic basically saying the same thing i feel like love is here i think mean, y'all like what if i love love is already here y'all just gotta work on some things work on yourself heal some of you guys may not be healed all the way yet so that's probably why you haven't met this person or you're not successful in your love life right now darling but once you do the, the the inner work your love life will ascend to a higher level of commitment period okay all right so pisces that is your re that was your reading thank you so much for tuning in Thank you for all your likes, shares, and subscribes. Make sure you drop a comment if it resonates with you. And until next time, peace, love, and abundance, y'all.